One of the nicest people you're going to meet in Fitzgerald, Georgia, Sylvia Lockett. How are you? I'm doing well. How about you? Oh, I'm great. Uh, Wiregrass Tech uh, Technical College is a wonderful place to work, but this outreach program with adult education has got to be one of the most rewarding things in the world for you. It is. It is. What does this do for people's lives? Just tell me a little bit about it that. It changes lives. Uh, once they get educated and then they can go on to school or get better jobs, what we do for people changes lives for the better. Ms. Lockett, with the changing job worldview, you know, I had a job, you know, people say I had a job for 10 years, all of a sudden the job doesn't exist anymore. Is this the next doorway for a lot of those people? It is. In fact, a lot of our students here today are here because of a layoff recently and uh, they getting a chance to complete their education. Who you got with you? Uh, in fact, we have Kim Hutchinson, and she is a student that was recently laid off from manufacturing plant here in Fitzgerald. And uh, we have Miss Rhonda Horton. She is a person from our community. She works with Ben Hill County Schools parent coordinator. When you, working in the public school system like you do as a mm -hmm. coordinator, when you see people that uh, maybe for whatever reason, all of a sudden their jobs left them or they just haven't had their career uh, determined yet, how does it affect you when you see people get involved in something like this? Um, you know, as, as Ms. Lockett said, it, it is life changing. Um, prior to this, I worked with, with Evenstart and we um, kind of had a partnership with them where we had a lot of the parents who um, came through and got their GED. So it's a life changing experience for both parents and the children. And uh, adults, do adults, uh, do they think, do they kind of run from this higher education thing? Does it, are they a little paranoid about it or what's the general reaction when you talk to them? Not necessarily. Most of the people that I've had is they've been very inviting. Um, you know, I think the staff here makes people, you know, feel really well and, and kind of dismisses a lot of those fears that they probably had or have um, because a lot of the people that I've dealt with, a lot of times self-esteem is an issue, mm -hmm. but it helps when you have somebody that's warm and inviting and, you know, makes you feel welcome. And Ms. Hutchinson, uh, your job, uh, the company you was working with, kind of played out, didn't it? Yes, sir. Well, shower industries, they're still open. But they've just cut back to eight-hour shifts, yeah. and they, they cut about 90 of us out. They've so, recently laid more off. Did you go through this period of time where you said to yourself, what am I going to do? I, I don't, I'm not going to ask you your age because you don't ask a lady that. But <laughs> were you at a stage where, you know, you thought you were pretty comfortable in your job, and then all yes, of a sir. sudden you started looking at things? Yes, sir. I was terrified when um, they, went to, they let us know they were cutting back. I, it terrified me. I had no clue what we were going to do. Um, I, I was told that you got your GED here. Yes, sir. Did you, um, did you, what did, did you do? Drop out of school at an age or something and not I was finish? a teenage mother. Um, I had my little boy at the age of 17 and I quit school. Okay. He is now fixed to be 15. Now, did you feel like this is a doorway that reopens for you, that gives you, gives you that really good shot at life that you should have always had? Yes, sir. I felt like it was a gift from God. Was it hard to do? Now, I, and we're talking to people at home. Was it hard to do this, or was, it, was the system in place that helped you get through it real easy? It was easy. Miss um, Lockett came to Shaw and talked to us to let us know what was out there, what was available. Uh, Shaw played well to have everybody there for us, but Miss Lockett's the one that encouraged us. What What do you do to get people to think about these changes? And, and some of these are very dramatic changes, aren't they, Miss Lockett? A lot of times it is, it, especially in a plant closure. Uh, we do a lot of uh, recruiting, advertising, and to get students to know about us and to know what we have to offer, that what's here. What what is the approach? I mean, uh, if they decide to come, do they come and sign up? Do y'all uh, do y'all guide them through that process? Is there some state support for them to uh, become educated this way? Tell me a little bit about that. Okay, well, all of our classes here are free. Everything that we do are for, is free. And uh, we furnish all the books and everything. So uh, we have orientations, scheduled orientations, uh, every other Monday usually at 8.30 and one Saturday out of the month. So that's when students can sign up. They a lot of times call 
and we'll tell them what time to come and all they need to if they are 18 and older then all we need is a st valid state is issued picture ID. Now, if a person's out of work and they're drawing, say, unemployment, does this affect their unemployment as far as No. You? In fact, if they're out of work and they're drawing unemployment, uh, we work with the unemployment office and let them know that they're in school, and then they give us a form that we have to sign and send to them saying that their attendance is, and they have some requirements that they will give them as to how long they have to come to school and like that. Ms. Hutchinson, what would you say to somebody that's sitting on the fence out there saying, I can't do this, I can't work this out, I can't Never say you can't. You always can. Now, what are you What are you going to do now that you have come this far? This uh, I start college January 9th. Um, I will begin the LPN program, or the core classes for the LPN program, and once I get my LPN, I'm going to bridge over for my RNs. Was there a point that you'd given up on going, co going to college? Yes, sir. I have two kids. I mean, I'm... Is this sort of like going back to those high school years when you had that dream, I'm going to do something, something could it's happen? More it's more exciting. It's more fulfilling. As a student, uh, as an older student, do you seem to, your focus seems to be a little better? You seem to be, buck, you know, knuckling down to it and getting the job I, done? I buckle down a lot more. Um, you don't have the distractions you have as a child because you're more focused on the goal. It's, uh, it's challenging work, but uh, people can do it, can't they? Yes, sir. Uh, Miss Lockett, the help that comes, uh, the encouragement, do you find that with your instructors? Yes, yes. Uh, the instructors are very encouraging and try. we try and have classes so that students can come when it's, a, you know, convenient mm -hmm. for them. We have scheduled class times, but sometimes students' jobs or whatever will prevent them from coming. So we'll have, we have classes during the day and in the evenings. Is the object to move them, to give them an opportunity that works within their scheduling, but it also gives them the opportunity to participate so that they can achieve this goal? Yes. That's wonderful. I, I, I think this, it's marvelous. Is there anything you want to say in closing to anybody that's sitting out there thinking, or any of you that's thinking about participating in, in this form of education so they can improve their life, is there anything you'd like to say to them? Uh, just call us here, 229-423-8200, and get scheduled for orientation, and then you can begin classes once you complete the orientation. It's not hard. It's not hard. Well, I take that back. It's as hard as you make it, ah. but it all depends on the student, and we will support them all the way. If you want it, you can get it. Yes. No doubt about it, it's here. Uh, thanks to all of you. What y'all do for your community is invaluable, and my regards to you. I know it's tough probably working everything in the schedule and getting everything done, but holy cow, you did it. Isn't yes, that sir. something? And I'm I'm proud. Good, good experience? Yes, sir. I I couldn't have done it without the support from the school system here. Without Miss Cottrell, Miss Lockett, and Miss Brownlee, they've all supported us hundred percent. You recommend it? Yes, sir. hundred percent. Miss Lockett, do you have anything you want to add to this? Yes, just add that Wagras, Georgia Adult education classes are in all 11 counties that Wagras Technical College serves. We have adult education classes. You can also reach us at 229-333-2123 for the Southern Region. And again, it's 229-423-8200 for the Northern Region. Is the HOPE scholarship available for this also? Once the student completes their GED, then they will get a $500 HOPE voucher that will help them to pay for their education once they're in a credit classes at Wagras Georgia Technical College or any other educational. Any location can give them all the information? Any location can give them all the information.